right here. I wasn't going to go there, but I probably should. I, I needed a can opener. So I went down yonder to the store. And and you, you know me, I shop price. You, you know what I mean? So I just reached up there and got this one. Oh, it was really cheap. But you see what it did to that lid right there? That's a good can opener right there. Made in China. And they had one right there next to it. I think that one right there cost a buck nine. Something like that. The um, broke right off. Uh, Blue Hawaiian. We're not going to go there. We're not going there. We're, um, now let's go on the Asian side. Y'all too? Yeah. <laughs> let's go Asian with this. I just dump it all in there. You know what I mean? Some, some say, oh, get them bones out of there. You know, some will say, oh, drain that. You know, everybody has their own, own recipe and, 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 and believe me, Feel free right here. That's them. Uh, oh, that's going to work perfect. That's going to work perfect for sure. And you know, I'm really, I'm really going to. Uh, I mean, you may think most of these videos it's been said during the comments is where I'm going with this uh, peanut butter we got that peanut butter there and we got these things right here these wonderful little things I can they, they kind of pricey store brand to get you by but but that's them little things right there and, and they got them they got them pineapples in yonder that are the perfect size for this dish right here you know what, I am, oh yeah, let's use this, uh, it's that skillet I fried them, I'm probably all right side out. I mean, you're going to have to do things like that, you know, man, this cooking ain't easy. And, and it's also been said too that, you know, I need to be working on a old gas engine. Yeah, I've got one out there on the trailer. We'll start it up in a couple of days. Y'all have seen it before. Nothing special. Uh, to, to, to appease everyone. I mean, some of these, now see, uh, well, you know, it says something on the bottom of there, but that's about how big that skillet is right there. We're going to need some oil in there. And just so happen, I laid in this soybean oil. It don't have to be. But, okay, I got a light right over here, and uh, I put about a, that's about a half inch, half inch at their, at their uh, baseball, they call it, about a half inch in there, uh, just leave it be. The, uh, we, got, we got some, we got some uh, free, free whole eggs, we got a pinto beans right there, we got them on standby, we'll cook them. Say it, you know, man. Oh, okay. Let, let's make this a dinner for two. Uh, we got that can of uh, salmons in yonder. Uh, they, they was pink. It said on the. <laughs> it, said, it, said, it, said, it said on the side that they're canned that them was them was pink salmons. And I'll tell you what. If you want a real trip. Uh, uh, just dump it all in there, juice and all. Well, that's not going to be enough. 
Y'all see that? And them salmon's in there. We, I think we're going to put some crackers in there. Oh, that's going to be good. Stir it up. Okay, let's, let's, uh, uh, oh, that's going to be perfect right there. You know what? We ought to put some pepper in there. The, and I'm going to advise, I'm going to advise that you go ahead and leave that salt out of these. Because I think if you read on the back of it, that, no, oh, that's too much. Uh, I'll throw it in there. It won't hurt nothing. I hope we got some crackers. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we might, we might go for a treat on these right here. We might use some of these ranch crackers in there. Oh, it'll just be better. Okay, let's just put half of this in here for the time being. I think mean, we're going to use them all, but uh, a, a half a sleeve on them. On them on them square crackers right there, and, and on these round ones right here, that's some other kind, you know. Uh, they really get on their own. Now let's let's just put a half a sleeve of them in there. Oh yeah, we need to. We're going to have to, to, have to crunch all that up uh, to a manageable size. You know what I mean? You don't want a whole cracker in here. I mean, it would not be good. But uh, I mean, I could work with it. You know what I mean? A whole cracker in a salmon patty. You know, I, I think I could work it out. Well, it's going to be good. Hey, get in there. You know who I think we're, I mean, we're going to? I mean, it's... Uh, and this recipe right here, you know, I, it's in the book. You know, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in my book. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, the recipe, is, uh, it's in there, so... Uh, it's in it's the ingredients. You know what I mean? Sometimes you don't have everything, so you just put something else in there. I think we're gonna go with grits. Just the generic you don't have to go down there and get no grits brand grits, you know what I mean? Uh I don't really like them instant, but that right there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but what, when I get a handful, right there's what I get. You know, you just gasp a handful, and, and see there? Okay, that's two handfuls. Let's see what that done to that. Oh, it's going to be good. I'm going to put some more in there. I'm going to put three handfuls. And I think the recipe over there says I'm going to put a little more. I, I <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let's turn this, let's, let's, let's turn this, I, I, I'm going to turn, see I got some numbers on that dial right there, I got a, I got another light on up there now, and right, right down there at the bottom is medium, straight down, okay, I'm a half a number over on the temperature. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is he going to put some soy sauce in there or something like that? Is he going to? Well, you know, we got them pineapples in there. You know what they call them? They call them pineapples the skinny fruit. You know, I don't buy into that. You know what I mean? When you load it down with cottage cheese, you know what I mean? When, when you put that, when, when, when you put that grilled, Pineapple on a big old juicy hamburger. You know, I don't think it's skinny no more. I'm just saying. We'll put that over, put that over, put that over there. Now, you know, we'll have to cook a whole meal, you know. Just at least, at least leave you with a serving suggestion. You know. I 
that's the only thing I got against these right here is price and packaging. You know, they get that price down there in range and package them a little bit easier to get out of there. Because I mean, sometimes if you stand it in line and you try to get one of these open for a quick snack, you, you, you're not going to have no success at it. <laughs> I mean, when you when you when you have your best clothes on. Oh yeah, uh, talking about good clothes. Uh, y'all been y'all been keeping up with with old Steve Jessup? Uh, somewhere down south yonder, the boy lives at. Building uh, some kind of tractor. Steve Jessup, check him out there. You know he's all the time got stuff to do. I'm just saying. You know. Check them out, come on back, and we'll have these salmon patties done. We got this in this pan right here, and that's this burner over here, so let's uh, go about the same place on that there. Cut that down about right there, or a little bit more. Uh, got something going back there. Looks like it's doing great. And let's put some butter in this right here. It's about that much. See about how much that is? That's not going to be enough. Eh, go sparingly on the butter. It's like two pats of butter right in there. Eh, we're not going to put none in there. I sure would like to get some butter in that right there, but let's put something else in there to that butter. Some, um, this right here is them dried up chopped onion flakes. And you all see in there about how many we're going to put in there? See about how many of that is? That's per decent handful. Just put them a little more. You know, always when in doubt, a good rule, leave a comment. When in doubt, to put a little extra in there. And uh, I'm just saying, when it comes to cooking, sometimes if you err on too much, you know, just taste that much better. And this right here, one, two. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say that's not, not enough right there on that. I'm gonna say that's three spoonfuls of that there. It's mustard. This happens to be that brown, spicy kind, you know. I'll use whatever you kind of got. I wouldn't get in a truck and go to the store just to get mustard, you know. Throw you some mayonnaise in there. Be just as good, probably. Okay, I'll show you something. Don't need to be fooling around with that right there, you know. When, when it gets right, it's time to cook. The, uh, in the right consistencies, when you get that when you get that burger and, and squeeze it up there and you've got one of them things like that right there, that's going to cook out all right. So, you know, make a decent size. And I, I usually, I, I always, not usually, in all occasions, I, I try to err on getting it too thin. You know what I mean? If you get it too thick, possibility you won't get it cooked all the way through. You know what I mean? Uh, but that right there, that's that's a, that's about a half inch, you know, uh, and that's about three inches around. That's a uh, that's a first hand look right there at a at a homemade. Uh, well, that's gonna be a good. One. Don't be don't be playing with your food. Get it in that pan. And you know the rules. You hear them on the television right there. When you put something in this oil right here, that's hot too. Be floating around in that hot oil. Do you know what I mean? Do not float around in that hot oil. Pencil it in right there. Remember, no egg. Hold off on them eggs. We're going to make a bread pudding, you know. I've got some pretty decent bread pudding recipes over a whole repertoire. I have, a, I have, I have quite a collection of... Uh, and I mean, you know, that may be what we do. We, 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 we may start a series where that I actually cook something by a recipe right there. You know what I mean? I mean, I think some, some people will say it can't be done, you know what I mean, but 
I can measure out stuff in a precise amount. You know what I mean? I can level off a spoon of flour. Oh, that's going to be good. Got that there. Uh, got that air conditioner running there. Say the sweet peas, green color. Put them right in there. Let's put a little salt right there. It's about a. It's for flavor only. Flavor. Sometimes you have to have it. We got that butter in there too. That's going to be good right there. Right there in the recipe, when you read down the list right there, it'll tell you what we're going to put in there. Oh, it's an Asian, uh, it's the flavor of, uh, you know, just leave a comment. One of the ingredients that goes in this right here, if you don't have, you probably ought to be in the truck going to the store and getting it. We got these, uh... Okay, I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm probably cooking them salmon patties a little bit too slow right there. So I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn a little more heat to them because it's already been 10 minutes there and I, you know, I've just been fooling around, you know. I should have been, I actually should have been paying attention to them right there. I believe they're going to be a little bit better than what I've done, but, you know. And, 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 and I'll give you a tip. Write this down in that blank page over in that book. This right here is the perfect after meal to cook in a cast iron skillet once you have stuck the cornbread. You need some oil in there. It's like seasoning it as you go. Oh, that's cooking real good right there. Oh, that floor is kind of squeaky right there. We got that going over here. We got that going right there. Oh, we need to put some liquid in that there. I'm going to show you what we got right here. Y'all see this? Yes, that's one of them. It's uh, ginger ale. Oh, it's a national brand, the best. But well, let's just, uh, I'll show you something. Ginger ale from your local store right there. Y'all see that head on that ginger ale right there? Let's put it right in there. We need a little liquid in there. That was about to... I'm going to see how much it was. Oh, it's going to be good. I'm going to turn the heat up on that a little bit. <laughs> good just got better right then. Somebody said, how come you ain't out there working on one of them old gas engines? Well, can you cook? You know what I mean? Can you cook? Now we got a real good. I I I show you what I'm talking about. I show you what I'm talking about. Oh, it's gonna be good right there. It's gonna be good. And we got that there green peas, butter, pineapple slices, that ginger ale in there. And let's turn that up. Oh, we got a little boil right there. Let's just let that ride. Keeping an eye on them salmon patties right there. We ain't even turned them over yet. Cast darn skillet. And we got that right there simmering in that pot right there. That's them pineapple chunks. Syrup and all. Put that butter in there. And we're going to cook them down. 
And we got that left over. Right there, we'll make some more. Well, we better turn these over right here. I've been in there 15 minutes, you know. That's, that's enough time for anything to be cooked halfway through. But like I say, it was, it was a low... Oh yeah, we're going to have to come back over here and look at that. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. You said, what do they call that? I call it soul food. Let's stir up these peas and carrots. A little more heat. A little more heat. Here. Okay, now back to this little saucepan right here. Carrying on with that Asian influence, i show you what we're going to do. You remember we had this sitting over there from the beginning. Peanut butter. That's the natural kind, you know, don't quote me on that. But you see about how much that is? That's enough for two of them. I think that was two. Uh, let's put a little more. In case in case that was three of those, let's put another one. That's a pretty big dollop of peanut butter, natural. Oh, that's cold. Be good. That pineapple peanut sauce. You know, I'm just saying. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Just get a wolf of that. Can you smell that? Remember we had that can of pineapple to get them slices out of? Let's pour that juice off over in that. Right here it is. I kept it on the side right there. Let's just pour that right in there. All of it. That's one can of pineapple juice off of a regular size can right over in that saucepan right there. Oh, that's going to be good. You know, you don't have to, I'm, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? If you're cooking rice, y'all didn't know I had that over there, did you? That's going to be good right there. That's going, we're going to let that simmer. We're going to let that marinate right there. I done already stirred it out on the stove right there. Clean up pineapple sauce. You know. Turn them up. Time to get this cooking on the road. Without further ado, let's serve up this wonderful smelling Hawaii, uh, Asian, Asian style, Asian salmon patties. Instant rice. Oh, it'll get the job done in a pinch. Well, you probably, you may even be having it right there at your own meal right now. All across America, instant a decent proportion. I think I may. I'm, I, I think with this, with this, with this, what I, we, I'll have leftovers here. I think. I think uh, a little bit of a couple of just, just. You see how much I put there. That's soy sauce. You know, I kind of take full credit for that right there. I told you I'd show you something if it wasn't right. And I done already made a made a crumble out of that other one right there. You know what I mean? Just fooling around. But i show you something. Look at it. Mmm! Now let's put this one back together. One corner right there. Oh, that's going to be good. 
and one corner right there. It don't matter if you are grading yourself. Uh, you may you may have better results than this right here. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, here's the other one that's just piled up right there. Oh, I just wish you could could smell those. Watch this. Y'all get a wolf at? Don't be playing with your food. That blank page in your book, that's what that blank page is for. Write this down. That's them there. You remember? That's that pineapple slice that I slipped off in that pan over there where you wasn't looking. That's that that's that pineapple slice with them with them with them with them green peas. With them green peas on yonder. You know what this. Just slip it right in there like that right there. And right there on right there. Let's 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 load this one up with them. That's going to be good. A few more right here. All right. Just put them on the stove over there and let them simmer a little bit. They ain't nothing like a good hot pineapple slice. But. Oh, I turned this off a little bit ago. That's that there pineapple peanut butter sauce right there. Oh, that's going to be good. Got that butter in yonder, you remember. That's all it needs, nothing more. Now let's just spoon it kind of. Oh, it's going to be good. I wish you could smell that. Let's go bias towards that there rice right there on that. And on this over here. Let's just fill that gap in right there. You know, don't leave no gaps in your plate if you can help it. Yeah, no. I mean, I've said that before right there, you know. And I think it, uh, being that we've got that there, uh, you all remember that? ginger ale we put in yonder in in, in, in to, to to carry that through and no waste of uh, too much let's uh the beverage with the meal uh, uh no more fitting than ginger ale quite refreshing most most occasions and so simple is a you know, it's soul food, I mean, you know what I mean? If you looked up soul food in the uh, dictionary, if you look it up, there's a possibility that there they would be a picture of this right here, right there underneath that soul food heading right there. I'm just saying, you, know, you don't need anything more than this. You know, you got your green vegetable, you know, you got your fruit there. Oh, let's get one of them pineapples right there with that peanut butter on it. Y'all pardon me. You know, I cook some stuff. I have in the past. That was the most delicious thing I ever eat. And, uh, Oh, your rice. Don't forget your rice. Mm. Mm -mm. You know, that rice ain't bad right there on its own. But you get you one of them pineapples right there. Mm. Oh, don't forget that there. That's good open. Don't forget that. Y'all see that? Don't forget that. Asian style.
Don't forget your peas. Those are pretty good. You know, I thought about cooking them in chicken broth, but I didn't. They're not bad. Tender. Just leave a comment. Just leave a comment. That's all I can say. Mm, 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 mm. From here in Middle Tennessee, Chop Dog Sam. Ginger ale. Enjoy.